You know, in that video where I was talking about forgiveness, over the past, like, year and a half, one of the things that I had to have the most forgiveness for is religion and religious people. I've had to have a whole shitload of forgiveness. I could tell some stories about the way I was brought up that would have you fuming. And it's interesting that I can look back at it now and not really be that angry. I guess I shouldn't say that I forgave that a year and a half ago. That's when I started to be able to forgive it. Because it's when I finally got completely out of it. NA and 12-step programs, that's taken me a little bit longer. In fact, when I made the video about that, as you could tell, I was still pretty angry at it. And now I can look back and not be quite as angry. Forgiveness is a very powerful tool. And it's not something where you're going up to the individual people and saying, I forgive you. It's, it's in your head. It's in your head. It's the way that you approach your past. You know, as I've talked about in, the, in other videos, you know, I was raised to be completely emasculated. I was raised to think that it is a horrible sin, a horrible, horrible sin to have attractions to women. I remember the uh, Sunday school I went to, they separated the boys from the girls and proceeded to teach the boys how the uh, the desire to look at naked women is a horrible sin and then they tested us afterwards and there was a church i went to for about a year that i was molested at for almost the whole year and uh there's a lot of real shit that happened to me at some of these churches and some of the things they would teach particularly the elements of you don't have the right to yourself and it used to make me really angry when I would look at it I know there's a lot of people who have went through a lot worse than I did but that doesn't make what I went through all nice. I think about Bionic Dance. And she talks about how she never really, really was raised with religion. But she's so angry at religion. And it makes me wonder, how angry would she be at religion if she had went through similar things that I went through or similar things that a number of other people have went through. Would she be wearing a straight jacket? Now with her, I think it's she sees all this crap that all these people go through and she feels powerless because it's stuff they've already went through. She can see how much damage that religion has done. I do still feel very strongly that teaching a child that their own thoughts, their own imagination will make them burn in etern for eternity is child abuse. I feel very strongly about it. 
I think it's one of the worst things you could possibly do to a child. It's like the parents who think it's the way to raise a child is to break your child's will. It's... I, I, I can't wrap my mind around how someone could possibly think that's a good thing to do to somebody. Oh, when, when, I was, when I was growing up, if ever I talked back to my parents, they'd beat the shit out of me. And then that's the way, that's the way what? You think that's the way it should be? You know. And religion is also the main cause of why we look at relationships the way that we do. Why we have put monogamy as the thing to go for. Why there's so many people who have been taught that love and sex are kind of the same thing, or they, they have to be together, they have to go together. And that you can't have love... I mean... You can have love without sex, but you can't have sex without love. Or that, I don't know, just, just the whole element of looking at relationships. It's really messed things up. I think about these people that are just like, they're in a relationship and their girlfriend or their boyfriend will say something like, you just looked at that person, you just looked at that person. And it's just like, really? You're going to get after someone for that? It's weird. It's really weird. It's strange. And number of people will go, no, that's not strange. If they love each other, then they should only... No, they shouldn't only anything. People can love each other without... Without this jealousy. To me, monogamy means that there's going to be a lot of animosity, a lot of jealousy, a lot of people not trusting each other. All because of this, this ideal that people are pushing forth for what a relationship is supposed to be. Religion. Religion is the primary thing that shoves forth these concepts. I just think it's sad. And religion drives a lot of the things that are messed up about feminism. And religion drives a lot of the things that are messed up about MRAs and MG Taos. It's the driving force of what keeps them clinging on to some of these traditional ideas. Even though they'll try to say they're not clinging to traditional ideas, you can just see it blatantly if you step away and look at it from afar. Religion has done so much damage, religion continues to do so much damage. Now, I'm being very general when I say religion, and some people will take a lot of issue with it. And I hope you know what I mean when I say it. I'm mostly talking about the Abrahamic religions, the religions that teach that you're going to burn in hell if you don't follow this set of rules, or if you don't look at things a certain way. Those are the religions I'm talking about. There are a whole number of other religions and beliefs that don't really go there. I think of paganism as an example. There's also Buddhism. Though it can get a little weird too, but it's, it's nothing like what you find with most of the Abrahamic religions. I still think it's rather, for myself, I think it's rather pointless to debate between atheism and religion. I, it doesn't, unless you can find a way to get, I mean,
I can't say that really, can I? Just came out of my mouth and I realized I can't really say that. Because if it wouldn't have been for a lot of these debates, I wouldn't have uh, had my realization in August of 2013. It was because of input from so many people that I was able to come to these realizations. That I was able to get out of these this whole higher power bullshit that was in my head before. So I guess some of this element of being tired of it, a lot of it's, I don't want to think about the pain. Some of, you, some of me sometimes gets worried of possibly drifting back into some of those ideas again, even though it doesn't really make any sense that I would. But I haven't really been that strong. And I've been through a lot of shit in this past year. I also don't want to get back to being angry. Because if I obsess on that stuff, it just seems like I would get angry about it again. I don't want to be angry like Bionic Dance. I don't want to be angry like a number like uh, Cult of Dusty. I don't want to be angry all the time. If I really have forgiven religion, then I don't really have to worry about that much, do I? I guess the question really is, have I really forgiven religion? Or am I just trying to forget about it? <laughs> 